and then uh, basically got another key and saw that there was a painting. You went inside the painting, uh, a lot of stuff in ensued involving Seeger, uh, not, not Seeger, involving uh, Thernos and Bryce. Bryce left, uh, Thernos left after Bryce. Um, or, well, he, he kind of got, at least the simulacrum got killed uh, by the, um, by the uh, Colonel Mancers. Um, you saved Priscilla. Um, and uh, then you guys decided to continue, moved into another room, which was very golden, very um, decadent. Went up to, uh, through the piles of gold, which began to stick to you, uh, went up to, um, a big crown on a throne, touched the crown, the crown turned into a monster, you killed the monster, um, killed the, the things stuck to you, which turned out to be mimics, um, you basically, uh, person. Yeah, then you, you met a hippo person who uh, helped defeat the mimics and the, the monster. Um, decided to make a contract with the hippo person. Um, he's now part of the crew. Uh, then afterwards, you basically uh, look through some of your magic items, gave one to the hippo person. Uh, the Sir, Sir Alistar, um, <coughs> got the crown, put on the crown, Frawl did at least, Frawl put on the crown, um, and then we left off with you guys deciding to go sleep on the ledge, um, outside of the room. I look fabulous. Uh... And that is where we left off, with you guys basically taking a... What was it sh a short rest or it was a long, long rest? Just, was it? Yeah. yeah, long rest. We got fucked. You up. guys took took a long rest. Okay. Um, uh, during that long, long rest, oh, I will say before we move into the long rest, during Sir Alistair's watch, he will set up the breach maker. Okay. So that it's prepared if we do get attacked. Got it. Got it. Uh, I will say. Um, Actually, go, go ahead. What, what were you gonna say, Sigur? You gonna say uh, something? I, I think I said I was identifying the um, the crown, right? Last session. Uh, you could if you want. Yeah, yeah, I wanna uh, identify. Uh, it. It's on Frawl's head. <clears throat> That's okay. Yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. It's this is dodge. like pre pre sleeping. Yeah. Okay. So you hand the crown over to Eric. Um. You well, identify I mean, it. He may I, touch, I mean, I just, I, yeah, I can touch it. He may yeah. touch the crown while it is on my head. <laughs> I will it. not be decrowned. Uh, <laughs> I will say, I will say that uh, it resonates as a crown of uh, protection plus two bonus to AC. Ooh. Oh it. wait, didn't didn't you say last session that? Uh, wait, did Doc cut out there? Or nope. No. Oh, okay. I said I love it. Uh, didn't you say it was an artifact last session? Like a resident. It is, it is in fact an artifact. Yes. Okay. Yeah. However, I... you do get information from identifying it that it is a protective um, crown. It protects you. So if it's an artifact, the likelihood is it could be more than that. But it, yeah, oh, yeah. it's at least that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's an artifact. Alright then, so we all go to sleep and uh, in the morning, well, I mean, I don't know morning, there's no daylight in here. <sighs> when you wake up. When I wake up. <laughs> it could be 8 hours, it could be 16 hours, I don't know. Yep. Alright, uh, should we have, should we have uh, the guard schedule? 
Mm -hmm. uh, so if you want to do watches, uh, tell yeah. me who's going first, who's on first, who's on second, <laughs> who's on first, what's on second, I don't know who's on third. <laughs> I, I will, uh, I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really fucked up. I could take the early shift just to get my hit points back. I'm, I'm I fine. Can whatever I can take any. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm glad you guys are right. It's only me who's close to death. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. I'm fine with that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, you decide to uh, take first watch. Roll me a perception check. Who? Me? No. Fro. Oh, Fro. <sighs> no, I'm not taking the first one. I'm fucked up. Oh. Never mind. Who's I'll, taking I'll the first I'll watch? I'll take the first watch. Okay, Alistar. That, that's exactly what I asked. I said, who's taking the first watch? Um, okay, so Alistar. Roll, roll me, um, okay, so 14. Um, you hear the same sort of uh, sounds that you, you heard when coming in uh, originally. Um, a shit ton of, like, wind and... Every once in a while, some stone moving, uh, very echoey here, um, and very eerily quiet. Um, every once in a while, you do hear the sound of, like, very quiet footfalls in the distance. Uh, but other than that, you don't really see anything on the horizon. We're all snoring. Um... You do, uh, there is one thing that spooks you a little bit. Uh, you look sort of down as you're, you're doing the watch, um, and you do see very odd sort of uh, large glowing eyes. Um, have you ever seen, like, the Cheshire Cat? Yes. Uh, very, very reminiscent to that. Those eyes in the darkness. Watching them very closely to see if they get larger, smaller, closer, whatever. Uh, they do not. However, you do see a wicked grin come out. Um, and it's just staring at you. Grinning. I aim the breach maker just in case. Okay. Nope. Nothing. Okay. Nothing happens the entire watch. Uh, next watch comes around. I will point Shh. out the location to whoever's relieving me. <laughs> who's who's relieving um, Alistair? I'll take a watch. second. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so you, Eric, uh, you look down and you see the same thing. Uh, uh I don't stare. You don't stare, is that what you said? Yeah, I, I, okay. I don't, like, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it, but I'm not, like, dead locked on it. That's okay. very rude to stare at someone. Yeah. They are staring at you. <laughs> exactly. Uh, do you need a perception or uh yeah roll me perception 16 uh, uh as i said before very much the same um you hear very quiet footsteps sort of it's almost as if they're echoes of something else like way above or way below um as well as some stone and, and things moving around. Um, you, you realize now that the, the stone moving around is mainly just you guys shuffling in your sleep. Um, but besides that, doesn't seem like there's a whole lot going on. It's just um, very quiet. Very quiet. Besides the Cheshire cat grinning at you. <coughs> mm. um, yeah. Okay. 
I will. I'm guessing you're gonna wake up Frawl after this, though. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He kind of wakes up. <clears throat> yeah. What do you say? What did who say? Well, you woke me. Well, yeah, it's your turn. Or watch. Yeah. I'm tired, man. I'm gonna go to bed. All right. Okay. Hmm. And he's gonna take his watch, <coughs> but not his entire watch. <coughs> you actually notice that Priscilla uh, has been awake the entire time. Hmm. In that case, uh, Frawl is gonna, <laughs> when it's his turn, he's gonna. <coughs> so, Priscilla. Did I hear you, Jamie? Yeah, it's me, Ben. <coughs> Jamie, wake yeah. up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sure. Uh, Priscilla, could you just like stay right here and just look in that direction and if anything comes at us, just scream or something. I'm gonna <clears throat> take a look. And he's gonna go back into the vault with the coin, uh, okay. gold coins. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Priscilla does say as you're as you're like leaving, yeah. there's a very odd smiling person down there. Oh yeah. It's fucking weird. Look at them. Take, keep your eyes on it. And if he, I don't know, looks like, oh, I'm gonna murder us, then do something about it and make us up. Okay. Improvise. And uh, for the rest of Frost Watch, you can hear giggling from the gold coin room. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you have attuned successfully. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> gold. <laughs> Fake gold, but still. <laughs> um, yeah. Priscilla's watch goes by pretty un... un uh, what's the word? Uneventful? Uneventful. Thank you. Mm. Um, and you all wake up from the long rest that you just took. I will make sure to kind of be at my post when people are supposed to start waking up. Uh, yes. Uh, would you be wearing your new armor? Yeah. You, I, I think okay. if people are not waking up, like, naturally, they are hearing, like, Frawl just going <laughs> with two sacks of coin, like, just dragging it, like, out of the, of the place. And he has, like, like, on his new, like, crown, he has, like, necklaces of like golden necklaces hanging from it and then kind of piled some gold into the crown itself and then has like a statue on his left arm like oh you guys are awake <laughs> myself oh and he's like clad in in like like basically solid gold armor too like he has just blinged out completely did you upload the new Oh, yeah, I think so. Uh, for all, okay. Here yeah. Go. Here is... It will load. God damn it. If it will load... Please load. <laughs> here we go. Here is... The new, I cannot, I can't click and drag it. I'm too awesome for Roll20 to handle it. Just science and physics, <sighs> Phys physics, B -b biology. It's can't, magic. Can't click it's and magic. drag it. Okay, well, fuck it then. I don't care. I, I have a picture I can send it. Yeah, link it. Yeah, um, I will. New and improved for all, with with a crown, and golden armor. Dwarven golden armor. Um, but either way. Um, yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. There's for all. New and improved. For all the golden. Uh yeah. So. What do you guys do now? You have awoken. 
You have uh, lots of fake gold. Um, you have now a crown. You have another key. You have two keys. Mm -hmm. Two keys, guys. Two keys. <laughs> You're going somewhere. Yeah. All right, everyone. I, I think, obviously, we should try to find another key. And uh, at that point, I think we need to decide whether or not we should try to use one to open up, the, up another treasure room or try to use them all to open up the... Everstone. No, that's not the name Gregory of it. Gregory says that as much as he likes treasure, mm -hmm. I think the main goal is uh, more important. Yeah, right. I would agree. We don't know exactly what's going on. Yep. Um, oh yeah, that's that's Dimble. However, oh, Dimble, however, says he wants to get as much treasure as he can out of this. <laughs> he has like one, <laughs> I'm one pouch of fake gold. Like here you go. Yeah, no, he, he he's already <laughs> taken fake gold. <laughs> All right, great. Uh, if I am to understand it, this gentleman, and I'm pointing at Eric, had his entire expedition save himself killed on the hunt for treasure. Mm -hmm. My entire expedition was killed while attempting to retrieve treasure. And on more than one occasion, it seems that your group has been nearly killed while searching for treasure. I'm sensing a pattern here. As am I. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's, that's definitely the point. You're not supposed <laughs> to actually want the Everstone because you go for the treasure, so you keep getting the keys, so you go more for more treasure. Mm. And, yeah, it's how, kind many, of the point. how many keys did you get before you know everyone you loved and died? Friends, family. Pants? By what? No, not you. Eric. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't love them. I was just oh, trying to come along. It's all in good fun in that case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who cares? I mean, Remember. no. I did I, like that, the bard. That, that, that came out wrong. How about no, the no? I, I, I'm. <laughs> look, it's gallows humor. Okay, look, we're in a fucked up situation. I'm tired. I want to get out of here. <clears throat> Let's just pick a random. Floor. Shall we proceed? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, who, who so uh, you're gonna jump? Yeah, I mean, well, I, I was gonna ask the group beforehand. Do you want to just? We could jump to the next floor, or we could jump to any floor. Do you want to? It's sixteen floors, correct? Uh, uh, yes, there are sixteen floors. Yeah. Do you uh, want to just d sixteen? Yeah, uh, Frog will sp spread out some of the fa fake coin like all over this, so we don't backtrack. Yeah, that's a good point. And we were two floors above this, so that's well, we easy marked to tell. Down. Bryce marked down. Oh, yeah, right. Well. right, right. So do you want to just leave it up to chance or jump to the bottom floor? Or like uh, the next floor down? Well, we don't, because we were actually looping in the fall, we don't actually know what the bottom floor is. Yeah, no. That's right, true. yeah. We just know two floors. Yeah. That, that's why I said, who feels lucky? Because whoever jumps <laughs> first kind of decides where we land. Let's just go to the next one down and work on it systematically. All right, then. Many things are said Eric's... for an orderly search. <laughs> you, you see Eric is, like, tentatively looking over the edge, just wanting to jump, but he, he goes to the next platform. <laughs> oh, <you> push him? <laughs> no. No. <I> don't. Okay. <clears throat> I'm we'll very tempted, though. In uh, Ragnarok. <laughs> I, I was more thinking uh, Game of Thrones season one. Oh no, I, I was thinking the, uh, the the Rainbow Bridge in Ragnarok, where Banner hits it, bounces a couple oh, of times, oh yeah, and then turns into yes, yes. Like, we need Rick, Rick. <laughs> he found he found someone to hit. Let's go there. That was just a brilliant anyway. thing. He jumps out and just boom. Yep. <laughs> Like superhero landing, superhero landing. Nope, bro. Oh, Snack. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Eric, you jump down, uh, and immediately you land on the ledge nearest to you. As soon as you do, you realize two things. One, it's extremely humid, and two, uh, your feet are very sticky. No, no, fuck this. We're leaving. 
You see, he has no. You you see, he has boots on, and they're magical. But there's the soles are still missing. He's still barefoot. Yeah. Uh, so he, he has more like shin guards, and he does not like this at all. Guys, I think we should go to a different floor, like any other floor than this Alist one. Alistair's kind of stood at the ledge with a gun in his hand, looking down. What's the problem with this one? It's very sticky down here. Well, I mean, the and... other one was very murderous, so I don't really think there's a win. <laughs> yeah, but that's yeah, but sticky. <laughs> it's sticky. Is it come, come down come here and come down here, and you'll see. Yeah. Come All down. right. Let yeah, let's let's at least look at the room first. I mean, okay. <clears throat> you jump down, and uh, like I said, it's very humid, and your footfalls are sticky. Uh, you you look down. Um, roll me perception checks. Whoever is looking yeah. at their surroundings. Perception. Ooh. Oh, damn. Uh, I will say. <laughs> Eric, uh, you see an almost imperceptible um, layer of like of like gak of ooze, like all along the uh, the ledge and leading into the hallway, uh, and it actually gets thicker and more or less translucent as it gets into the hallway until eventually you can see only because of your perception check uh, that it actually becomes like green slime on the walls. How do you guys feel about slime creatures like cubes and gelatins and... Does it dissolve gold? Yeah. Then Fire no. Dispatch these creatures. Do we have fire? Don't have fire. Saw me with multiple fire weapons. Oh, okay, but I thought it was firearms firing bullets, not actual fire. No, just just as a recap, I did fire <clears throat> a, gun, a, a gun in the last battle that created a fireball around me. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, you used it to okay. fire around me. Okay, okay. Yeah. I misunderstood. I, I thought you just shot a shotgun at your feet. No, no, no. As a response I, to I, I have, I have, a, I have a blunder boom and a blunder bust. Yeah. Which are the I'm, magical yeah. guns that do firebolt and fireball. I thought you just did shotgun to the face. Yeah, no. Acrobane way. <laughs> Boom, relevant fucking things and references and. Ooh. Anyway. Uh. Yeah, so what are you guys doing? Uh. I really I'm don't gonna like this floor. Yeah, guys. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I I excel at hitting things, and acid melting things seems like not our forte. And um, Kea, uh, I assume that your guns aren't that good against it. No, I think bullets go through slime. Okay, it's, maybe it's it's a good thing for us to at the very least. Uh, check the next floor and see what that looks like. I suppose hey, he... the rest of you are ill-equipped for the challenge, and <clears> the <throat> floor might be advisable. Mm. Something that fits our skill set. Running. Yeah. Finding. <laughs> Alistair does not look impressed <laughs> as this discussion is going on, yeah. I will say that. <laughs> yeah. Catch like, a gold by the toe. By when he's saying this, like he's walking towards the edge, and eventually just kind of walks off. Ooh, okay. Yeah, like starts look, like walking downward, yeah. basically. Yeah, like just Pearl, in the air. Yeah. Pearl kind of sees that. Like uh, one of these days, that's gonna end very badly. <laughs> that's that just be hilarious, though. Oh yes, he's gonna fall on his face, and there's gonna be blood everywhere. <clears throat> okay, so you jump off. And, Sorry, dog. Um, if the gold screams, it's a member. Do you? <clears throat> uh, by the way, you, you you have noticed now that the Cheshire cat looking thing is is gone. Just mm -hmm. so you know. Um, I, I sp spread fake gold here too, by the way. Yes, so to make sure that we keep track on okay. where we are. Uh, so you're going the one down, one down. 
Uh, sure, correct? Yeah, sure. Okay. So you go one down, <clears throat> uh, and you see that this place uh, is what appears to be um, much more worked stone. The actual ledge itself is worked. Whereas before, they were all rough. Uh, Stone you sort of check. Like, Look, <clears throat> it's it's man-made. Dude, you don't have to make stone, stone check. I don't I know why make you make stone, stone checks every time <laughs> when I give you the information freely. Because it's like my one intelligence thing that no, I can do, but... and I will fucking do it. Okay. <laughs> wow. It's definitely man-made. It's like insight check. Everyone, I think it's man-made. <clears throat> Great. That did appear fairly apparent. Yeah, but it was made by magic, though, which is a clue to something. I don't know what, but maybe it's um, more, more clear later. I say out of my ass. You see that there are a number of odd-looking decorations in the hall. Um, lots of odd-looking wooden... Um, streamers and signs and things like that um things that you would imagine would be present in a sort of fairly rich sort of nobles children's birthday party hmm. um almost as if they 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 brought a toy maker in to make decorations and things good um, we can do wood yeah. Alistair uh, is standing at the side of the door, kind of behind cover, gun drawn, <clears throat> looking in. Well, the, the door hasn't... you haven't even gotten to the door yet. You're still on the ledge. I'm just describing the hallway to the door. Right, okay, sorry. I thought from the ledge there was a door into the hallway. Well, it's... 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 no, no. It's, it's the, the ledge mm -hmm. into a hallway through, like, a... Um, uh, right. Okay, so like the hallway, a, uh, like the, the hallway, hallway the of, yes, yes. Okay, Got exactly. Then. then I'm at the edge of it. Then, if there's no cover, right, okay. I'm still at the edge. Um, so, like I was saying, um, lots of uh, decorations um, in various different like colors, <clears throat> very vibrant colors, in fact, um, and the actual door itself seems to be very similar. Um, it's almost as if it's a door to a toy workshop. Alright. I'd say Berkeley eyes. We, we are fine with toys, right? Fine I mean, we got this. What what type of toys? Because there are variations between races. <laughs> yeah. Especially yeah. if it's like a gnomish toy or something. Yeah, Eric so looks like... in and like... So you don't have like a... Cri crippling fear for like those pre creepy porcelain dolls, dolls like, you know, big eyes, <clears throat> rosy cheeks. No? Alright then. Dimble has no idea what you're talking about, but Gregory is kind of creeped out now. <laughs> Damn it, there's no winning. <laughs> Someone is creeped out, guys, next floor. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep going. Anyway, um,. Want, uh, yeah, so, um, I mean, and as far as the regional, it's very hard to tell for, like, the cultural uh, subset of these toys. They just look like toys. I maybe, think he's maybe, asking maybe if it's humans. Clockwork. Oh, it's not clockwork. It's, it's yeah. definitely, it's like, it's like a puppeteer. That kind oh, of yeah. Do, do, like, the puppets, it, it, do the puppets have pointed ears or anything like that? Or No. Uh, but there, there aren't any neutral. puppets. It's it's like a puppeteer's work, but there aren't any puppets, right? Uh, you know what I mean? It's like, how do I explain it? They're very garish. Uh, they're not done. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Whatever. Oh. Doesn't matter. Uh, is it like? Shit. Hang on. Is it like uh, uh, this? 
those colors, but he said there's no actual statue. Yes, the, the, definitely those colors, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's like Pinocchio, you know? It's like a Western toy maker uh, mm -hmm. kind of <laughs> shop thing. Yeah, the just thing I, I was can just wondering imagine. if it was Got unique, it. Not, out, not normal. I was just wondering if it was uh, it, It's very much... Um, Yeah, it's, it's kind of unique, I would say. Um, Alistair kind of looks at, at Frawl and says, um, Captain, would you believe that an army of toys is more within your uh, capabilities? I think it's within all our capabilities to smash these toys if they were to come alive and try to strangle us with their strings. I think we got this. Uh, there's no reason for us to make this difficult for us, is there? Not at all. You wish me to destroy them. Well, we don't know what's going on yet, so... Yeah. Maybe there are traps. I don't know. Let's let's open the door and see if there's any clues. Maybe some text or... Some kind of uh, hint of what's actually going on here. Maybe the solution will be lying under a chest. Very so, well. yeah. are, we'll uh, move on. <laughs> Yes, silence. <laughs> yeah, we anyway. open the door. Who is our scout? Scout? Uh, that's Eric, right? Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, me. Yeah, I'm the scout. <clears throat> yeah. What? <clears throat> yeah. So you do you open the door? Sure. Yeah. It seems like the mechanism. Uh, to open this door is to pull on a string and then it begins a very uh, minute amount of, you know, what's the word? So what's it called effect? Chain reaction. Ch chain reaction, sure, yeah. There, there's, there's a name for it, something effect. Um, but either way, uh, yeah, it just sort of begins opening and uh, you actually see as the doors open there's like some steam and lots of like sounds of like a train moving and um, you know uh, you base it basically opens into a very large workshop almost looks as if it's like a giant workshop all the tools are humongous all of the things here are humongous. Um, yeah, I'm try. I'm. I tried to find uh, a picture, and it wouldn't load for me. So, um, uh, would it be something? For some reason, I find a lot of pictures with creepy dolls. It is uh, no. There, there's no more creepy dolls. There's no creepy um, dolls here. Oh, I'm trying to find the. Book for my class. I can't find it anywhere. Hulk? Yeah. Is that what it's called? Hulk? Hulk. It's more like this. <coughs> okay, it's, uh, it's called Hulk. Thank yes. You. It's the Vecna, right? Middle finger of Vecna? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, anyway. So yeah, you, you open up to that, and you're basically walking through um, to a very large workshop with all sorts of different things. Uh, you immediately see, like, wooden statuettes and uh, carved ducks, and there's, like, a, a mallard on a string hanging from the ceiling. And you see a little owl with its, with its eyes moving around, following you. You see, like, a little fish... It's sort of like flopping back and forth on like a mantle. You see um, a rocking horse just slowly rocking back and forth. Uh, you see lots of different wood making tools and and toy things and all sorts of stuff. Um, uh, and the large amount of this place is pretty uh bare like the ins the sort of um all of that stuff is on the walls and uh to the sides 
it's most been of the up and put away. Yes, all of it's been tidied up and put away. Yeah, basically, nothing is out of place. Um, most of what you're stepping on is bare floor, bare wooden floor. Um, Eric, what does your uh, halfling eyes see? Yeah, Eric. Jesus Christ. Holy um, shit. It's <clears throat> <laughs> good. We just let you do all the perceptions or worlds from now on. Only in our 20s. Holy fuck. Um, from what you can see, uh, there does seem to be a sort of focal point to this toy workshop, which is this, um, this pair of levers in the middle of the floor, um, which very obviously seems to, uh, do something to the floor, because what you can tell is right next to the levers is a cut-out sort of square of wood flooring, almost as if you, you, if you pull the levers, something will open up and reveal itself. Uh, Maybe you should use some of your magic to see if you can see something more. Uh, yeah, by the way, I, I can detect magical writings within 60 feet of me. Magic writings? But what about magic aura? Auras? No. no. Only if well, there it aren't is... magical writings. So if it's a scroll, I could detect it. Right. Or if someone has written with like runes and shit, I can detect it. Right. Or Well, there aren't any right now. It's my it's my Bryce detector. <laughs> Middle finger of Vecna will not load for me. Do you want me to give you the PDF? Yes, please. Okay. Sorry, but thank you. There you go. Nine to one bites dust. Oh, uh, by by the way, while we all have been like walking, Frol has been kind of trying to like like bling, so kind of like the like the reflections kind of a little bit in the in the eyes of people. <laughs> Showing off your bling. Yeah, not maybe maybe not Alistair because we are like like because apparently there's there we actually have a professional relationship. He's not there yet emotionally. <laughs> But I will definitely bling uh, Eric and Kia. Like, yeah, look at that. Oh, can't see? Can't see shit? Yeah, because it's in your fucking eyes. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, Alistair is walking, like, gun out, ready position, from cover point to cover point, watching whoever's in the lead, so... Yeah, he's... Yeah. <laughs> he's not noticing this. Great. No, at some I, point... still have, <laughs> I still have the pretense of being respectable. Cool. At some point, Eric, like, grabs your, gra like, puts a hand on your crown and like uses it like a flashlight, reflecting the light. <laughs> Just, oh wait, no, turn your head right, like this way, and like cocks your head to the right. Yeah. Uh, uh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Perfect. So I don't know what happens exactly, but there are levers over there, and stuff happens. I think. Uh all right, so you, 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 there's no like when we pull this thing, something's gonna fall on our heads. I look up. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. No. I, I don't see any like scenes okay. or anything. I suggest if we're gonna pull this lever, uh, we should expect the worst and just take defensive positions in case something comes out and tries to kill us. I can pull it. Right. Um, kind of what's the area around the lever? What is the area around the lever, did you say? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the area around the lever is sparse. I mean, like I said, the everything seems to be tidy and in order. And mm -hmm. it's just two levers and two. the sort of carved out... Um, Marking on the floor, yeah. What's the marking on the floor? As in, look, uh, it's like a, it's like a 
it's like a box or something. Oh, and okay. Two then, is it okay. two levels? Imagine, imagine this, okay? The entire floor is is very much patterned in such a way that uh, everything seems um, very neat and tidy. And then there is like seams in in the wood right next to the letter le the the levers, which would open up. So it's it's like mm -hmm. a trapdoor. How many levers? Something like that. Yeah, two. Two levers. Okay. Okay. That's that's yeah. Sure, that's a lever. Kind of looks at Gregor. That's, like two lever, lever. Two levers needs two people. Sure. Gregor Gregory goes over. It does it look like one person could grab each of them easily. Like, is are they both in front of you like a train, or is it like? split apart like five feet apart they're about five feet apart yeah okay, uh, like so i said the, the the setup of this room seems to be probably made for a giant of some sort or something like that okay i'll i'll walk up and pull the all right well i wait for people to get ready yeah i mean yep in okay. position gun ready do we have like a rough map? Or is I mean, this just, just this is fine. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. What's what's the distance of the room on each side to the walls? Uh. Stuff. Just use this. So, same thing. Um. Oh, okay, so same definitions? Yeah, same definitions. Okay, cool, cool. Um, yeah, so you, uh, Gregory and you stand there. Uh, Priscilla is over here. Gorg is going to be nearby, but not, and then the demo is going to be over there. Where Wait. am I? Uh, well, put your fucking token down, you bitch. Where do you want to be? In I can't. The I can't put your token down. I so. can't either. Well, you shit out of luck, then, buddy. He's in the ether. I don't exist. Um, that's like not target targetable. Are you good there, Jamie? <sighs> <laughs> like mentally <Yeah>. or <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know. You, mentally, no. like you've been kind of like phased out this entire time you're muted and and also muted that's why or she's just not talking yeah no it's she's been talking yeah or at least I've been down. talking no one's been oh listening. there you go yeah. oh what? no you, you haven't you've been muted yeah I've been muted. I don't know. Yeah. Good job. That's what I was saying. Talking while muting means that we're not going to answer you. Mm. Talking in general. Just figure that's... out if I can solve my mic problem on my Mac, but it looks like I have to do like a system restore. Oh. Which is fast. You know what the mic problem with the Mac is, right? It's a Mac. Mac. Yep. Still saying Everyone's that. unanimous. It's a Mac. That's a problem. Mm. <laughs> the one thing that we all can agree on. Mm -hmm. mm. Ah, there you go, Frawl. Hey, I exist. By the way, uh, the halflings are small creatures. Are oh, they? My... <laughs> Thank there you, you go. <laughs> Some of that sass. Great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, I will pull ask. Gregory, lever. I'll yes. I'll ask Gregory to pull his lever first. <laughs> okay. To see what he happens. Goes, yeah. He goes to pull his lever first. Uh. While we it, watch, it sort of gets stuck. And he sort has of to do that when people are watching. Can I kick it. <laughs> uh, he he sort of like tugs on it real hard, but it it doesn't budge. Uh, okay, he says, so, uh, maybe at the same time. Right, yeah, yeah. I was just thinking. Uh, here we go. And he, like, grabs the lever. Okay. And, and you both pull at the same time. To reveal 
what appears to be a uh, huge sized almost like a uh, a carrier um, or a carriage I should say except it's um, round um, and you could see that there it is very plush um, velvet with what appears to be uh, numerous eyes which are staring at a uh, humanoid figure who is laying down uh, in this sort of carriage which is opened up like a um, like a kinder egg I ready an action to shoot it if it moves mm. Here, I, I, I got it. Here. Okay. But, uh, does it look evil? Uh, the man... Keep in mind, Fro is very racist. The man looks something uh, like a little bit of a... Like, like a tiefling, almost. Oh, yeah. I mean... Um... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, he has the horns. He does not have horns. He has a tail. Uh, he does not have a tail. I mean, he's... How does he look okay, so oh, that's continue, creepy. Continue the explanation of what he is. Um, or what he looks like. Here's what he looks like. He he, he looks to be, um... Uh, How is very that much... not evil? Huh? How is that not evil? What is that? He looks like this, um... If you, if you look, uh, a very garish looking uniform with like, like a puffy collar of, of white, um, <laughs> shock white hair comes down, comes up, uh, glasses, which have been tinted red, uh, yeah. extremely long, almost like a witch's crooked nose, um, fat, very fat, right. rotund. Everyone, let's see if this thing is gonna tell us. Are you, uh, hang on. Are we in jail? Are we, uh, do we have to select our personas right now? Because I recognize that character. Where is it from? It's from Persona. Persona oh, okay. 5. Or, well, from Persona. All, I thought you said all in. The Persona games. Because you uh, were in jail earlier. Persona. Okay. Uh,. Who the fuck are you? Uh, he's actually unconscious. Speak, you fuck. Wait, what's what was that next to him? Um, nothing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I will say, I like I, I said, he's awake. as as it opens, the eyes are looking at at um, the many sort of brown irised eyes are sort of looking at him, and then they look at you guys as they they look around. Oh, so he's awake. Oh, he's unconscious. The eyes on the orb are looking at us. Oh, oh, oh okay. Thank you. Okay. It's sort of like a a uh, God. I I want to say cylinder, but it's a sphere. It's a it's sort of like a spherical carriage that has been cut in half. So it's, it's an just an open death ball. Yeah, basically. A hemisphere. I, I'm thinking yeah, it's more like it's a hemisphere. Yeah. He, he, he kind of screams at the creature again. So, hey, hey you, wake up! I mean, <laughs> you're here. It's I can will... give us a key. Yeah, you'd have to like physically shake it if you wanted. I, to I'm not touching that. Are you? Uh, hang on. I'm I'm casting or attempting to cast. Yeah, it, there we go. I'm gonna identify the uh, the the egg. What egg? The the, oh, the, the carriage. Uh, the carriage. Yeah. The carriage. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, you is identify it that it is uh, sort of magical. Um, in in the way that it's sort of um, more protected. It's like enchanted to be stronger. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, anything from the eyes, or would I, or did uh, they count no, as no. separate entities? They, they don't count as separate entities. Um, they actually seem to be 
uh, not magical, which is very odd. Okay. It's fucking creepy. Um, and and you sort of like go and touch one, I'm guessing, because you have yeah, to yeah. touch it. Uh, yeah, yeah. It is made completely out of wood, just carved in such a way that it looks like a real eye. Have you ever seen one of those? Like, it's really yeah, yeah, where yeah. it looks exactly like an eye. Yeah. yeah it, like the wooden eyes or glass eyes, yeah. Uh, sh should we knock? Uh, uh, the mace knocks. Dun, dun. Uh, as you knock, you watch as the man opens his eyes and looks around. Uh, and where once he, he, he had a, just like a regular sort of unconscious face, he now grins ear to ear with his, uh, very sharp, jagged teeth. Gonna whisper to Alistair, this man is cl clearly fucking evil. Yes. Uh, I look over in where you are. Uh, oh, and doing good. He, he looks at, um, at everybody and says, um, uh, Ah, more experiments. Yeah, no, fuck Fantastic. this. Fantastic. Pull the lever. I, I attempt to pull the lever back with Gregory. <laughs> more experiments. Back, back in no. another direction. Yeah. I fired. He tried as as that, that. It's stuck. Uh, Alistair's just like, no, nope. boom, uh, it, it goes to explode him, uh, he <laughs> uses the reaction, and, uh, he's gone in the mist. Oh. Oh, you uh, kill him one shot, that's great. Watching, looking, where is he? Is the, wait, he's gone in a mist, or he's, he's become mist? Uh, no, he's gone in mist. Uh, hold Ugg on. Spani style. Like, Alistair clearly has seen some, like, horror movies, and he knows that if someone says that, you shoot them in the face, you don't wait them for yep, activating a trap. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's like in Saw, when they see the bad guy, and you say, oh, I know, I have you. And he says, all right, I'm going to explain my evil plan. And you say, I'm just going to drink some of this water here. Mm, okay, but I still got it. Oh, shit. Yeah. And then you're in the trap. <laughs> That's uh, true whoop. shit, Jamie. Don't laugh. Uh, <laughs> okay. I called this experiment. I shot him in the face with a fireball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, just, I approve. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now Fran knows. That's a no-no word. <laughs> uh, the the orb lowers down, yeah. and the lever goes with it. You begin to see as all of the creatures and the toys and things begin to jostle and move. Uh, you see the giant sort of... Um, what did I say before? It was like a... Bird? Juice or a duck yeah. uh, begins to like swoop down uh, it in an angles. Uh, I mean, you shoot it; it's doesn't seem to do much, and it doesn't seem like it's attacking you. But you shoot it. Oh uh, fuck! Uh, it's becoming very you see as the rocking horse begins to rock faster. And everything begins to move in sync. As you then see as an opening in the ceiling uh, shows itself. And lowering down from the ceiling is this large uh, puppet of a dragon. Shooting that next. And... <laughs> Uh, Rick, uh, or I mean, Eric goes into Rick form. Gets, uh, he just starts transforming. Shit, only initiative. Shit, shit, shit. 
Oh, and by the way, the reason uh, Alistair doesn't like the word experiment is because he has met Mr. X once. <laughs> it didn't end well. <laughs> For him or Mr. X? Dude, Mr. X is a demigod. I think he's fine. I'm actually rolling quite decent on this guy. Yeah. I'm Keep doing that. Like most of my rolls over 10. I'm not it's used to that. impressive that your dice now have two digits. I know. They've never done that before. The initiative thingy isn't up. I know. I'm, I'm getting Oh, it. sorry. There you go. Can you just re add me? I had 21. That's a very big image. This fucking music. Uh, and it, it looks to be some sort of eastern dragon. <laughs> this makes it, it makes it worse so for some reason. Oh, wait, I can. <laughs> it's changing too much. It's I'm gonna stop. <laughs> And we leave that one there. Yeah. Dragon's coming here taking all our jobs. <laughs> uh, humor. It's on the it's now on the internet forever. Just Never you guys can precedent. like re you can re roll it and then just change it on the thing. Okay. Uh, yeah. Or I can just roll the same thing again. <laughs> Good <laughs> enough. Yeah. That just never happens, does it? Yeah. <laughs> Mine get changed to 11. Yeah, it needs to be 26. I would do that. Huh? Just click on the number. In the uh, turn order, and you can change it manually. Damn it! This my... There we go. Uh, just so you know, I am blocking line of sight. With who? Uh, I, anyone who tries to shoot through me. I block line of sight. I count as full cover. Oh, are you saying you can be... Okay, never mind. Like, you can hide behind Rick and shoot and be... Back I'm not hiding, I'm strategically placed. <laughs> Alright. 